This is Radio Hereford FC on the road to Wembley. Well, hello again, and welcome to We're Going Down the Pub, with me, Frank Williams, and the ground guide, Maestro. Maestro, That's a different I'm, I'm liking Maestro. that, I'm yeah. liking Maestro, yeah. except yeah, yeah. you're not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Simon Wright. I don't do a lot of playing, do I? Yes, it's FA Cup time. Oh, it's the big one, it's it the is. big one. It's our guide to Fleetwood. Our sixth yeah. FA Cup round. Yeah, but before we start on this, can I just say that uh, we will be posting information about what's going to go happening in Blackpool on Friday night. Something's going to happen radio, Hereford FC-wise, uh, on Friday night in Blackpool. We are in talks at the moment with people in Blackpool about staging something on the Friday night, which may or may not include... Blackpool Supporters Trust, who mm. you may know have oh. been going through court cases oh. of their own, oh, yes. High Court, uh, oh, recently, yes. uh, and so on. And we could catch up with them, and they could catch up with us, and we maybe share some uh, some Tens views and his woes. Yeah. And they are not involved in the FA Cup the following no. day. <laughs> oh dear! But eleven miles away in Fleetwood, we will be. Yay! But anyway, dear. we'll talk about that now. Yes, okay. oh dear, Fleetwood. Well oh, away. Gosh, that- yeah. Away. I oh, know it's a long way away. It's, uh, it wasn't. It's not my idea of uh, of an ideal FA Cup draw. Well, low it, profile, long yeah. distance, top end Division One side. Not my idea of a good draw. And we just one ball away, Frank, from having Coventry. You can see our ball in that. We'd have ball. asked about Stuart Fleetwood back to score a hat trick oh, against yes. him like he did before. Oh, he was able would, to rip yes. them apart, wouldn't he? Yeah, it? yeah. You know, and I. OK, I was never that keen on Andy Cole, but I'd gone right off him, you know, because it was down to him to pull out all the balls for the home clubs. And clearly he didn't understand his responsibility for lovers of football everywhere that Hereford FC had to have a home game. Yeah, and who does his lad play for? Fleetwood. Ah. Yes. Right, yeah. yeah. yeah that's great. Very, something very fishy going on, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> very fishy. Yeah. Um... And I could imagine the Cod Army, as they call themselves. Yeah, the and, Cod Army, I love Yeah, that. and Andy Colson, Devante, whatever his name Devante is. Devante Devante, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, I mean, they'd be thrilled to get us, you know, on the on the, uh, the pretty much the lowest ranking opposition at home. Yeah. And Fleetwood having just been the non-league step two side with ten men. Yeah. I think, oh... It's not going to be well, a problem, what is, is it? it? What is it? Five divisions? and not, It's it's no. akin to the... Uh, what? Who are bottom of League Two at the moment? Oh, oh bottom uh, of League Two. Da, 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 pick da, da, somebody's da. bottom of League Two. Chesterfield. Chesterfield are bottom yeah. of League Two. Well, it's akin to them being drawn away at Manchester City. Hmm. It's 92 places between yeah. us and them. Yeah. And five divisions. So, it's the same, isn't it, Rick? It is. But it isn't, because I don't think that the gaps are as great, no. to be quite honest. And, uh, like, when you get below the Championship, there isn't so much of a gap. Well, how about Hereford against Tembury? Is that the same sort of gap? Oh, no. No? No, no. No, I think Tembury's a bigger gap. Tembury to Hereford's a much bigger gap. Mind definitely, gap. definitely. Right. Well, we've seen it. We've seen us play at, at uh, National League sides this season, and we've there's not that much difference, really. There might be a little bit in stamina and mm, technical skill, and it'd be full time training, yes, that makes uh, a difference. little bit of nurse yeah. and so on. But, um, mm. you know, it, decent players get it picked up from our step all the time and put mm. in the league football. Mm. So, mm. yeah, okay. yeah, it's not a, this is not a, uh, a foregone conclusion that we're just going there to make up the numbers. So I think it'll be a really tight game. I got, we'll I'm see. putting my money on a replay. Oh Lord, okay. Yes, I'd love that. Well, that would be life, for certain. Yes, <laughs> do you know, that's very true. I know. That is that very would be, true. Yeah, that would be. Wow, yeah. Um, I mean, we will get a decent wedge of dosh for yeah. the game. Yeah. Um, we'll get, a, we'll get 40, I think 45% of the gate receipts for what we hope yeah. will be a decent gate. Yeah. I and think it's, uh, for it being on extended highlights, I think it's 6,750 yeah. yeah. per club. So, that's so we, you know, yeah. overall, we hopefully we could gross £20,000 plus profit. Yeah. And that's good money for us. 
that's two or three home games, isn't it? Yep, that's right. You know, and of course, there's, you know, there's two or three home games without any outlays that we always have to have every time we have a home game. Absolutely. Um, let me tell you a bit about the place, Fleetwood. That's a place with an with an eye, of course, being very fishy. Fleet. I <laughs> know. Oh, I think you got there eventually. Didn't they? <laughs> Fleetwood only Love. has a population of twenty six thousand, which is half that size of Hereford. Well, okay, it's the same size as Potter's Bar. Yeah, yeah. And it's where fishermen's friends are made. Really? Mm, the lozenge as opposed to, you know, <laughs> human friends. OK? OK. Um, they've, on, they've only got inshore fishing left now. They're famous North Atlantic trawlers. They've all long gone. So they don't sing when they're fishing anymore, really. <laughs> it's more fish processing rather than fish catching. And it's very much a town in decline. Yes, because unlike... Further north, and like Morecambe and Blackpool and so on nearby, uh, it's not at all touristy, is it? It's not. It's not. No, it's not. You know, they had the Isle of Man ferry, lost it. They had, they had an ICI factory that's closed. They haven't got a train station that's closed. The road access isn't great. They're very much a backwater on the sea, if I can use that expression. But um, I guess you might argue that makes the football club even more important locally. You know, we do laugh at their gates of 3,200, but when you think that's basically, what, one in eight? Well, if you say, if you say, if you laugh at that, they're they're they're, they're getting gates of 3,200 on a population of um, 26,000. Good luck percentage. Well... If, um, if if you take the population of Hereford, which is yeah. double that, yeah. uh, we should be getting 7,000 mm. exactly. uh, exactly. to, to, be, to be the same standard as them. Yeah. So don't, don't so sniff at that. Perspective. It's, it's, a, yeah. it's a good, healthy crowd for a town of the size. Yep, yeah. an isolated town. I mean, but at the top end of League One, it's still rubbish, it's, to be quite yeah, honest. Of course it is. It's not sustainable, it is. is it, really? No. But nevertheless, you see, no. it doesn't have to be sustainable if you've got a rich... No. Proper guru exactly. behind you. Yep. Well, they are the forest green of the north. What? You know. Illy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, as in terms of being funded and owned oh, by right. a self-made man who's big in energy. Yeah. He's got a... Um, Pilling, the guy's name, is his utility company sponsors the club and they've got offices at the ground. Now, meat and fish are okay here. Thankfully, I mean, a, a frozen northern port isn't won't sit kindly with a vegan menu. Would no, it wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. So, wouldn't no, no. no, so the menu is perfectly conventional. Now, Andy Pilling is probably Mr. Fleetwood. He's put ten million pound into the ground. They also own a Blackpool hotel, which is purely for their youth team, and they've also got a Premier League standard training ground, which is a multi multi million pound ground. Now, if you want to know more about Mr. Pilling. He's got a very comprehensive website, which lots and lots of ways describe what a jolly good egg he is, you know. It does feel sort of vaguely North Korean to me. Right, and he has an ego to match. Well... Oh, you well, said a good egg. I thought a good, good egg. ego. A good ego. Good he may have a good ego as well, yeah, yeah. because he may be some, some, one of his fan, fans doing it for him, I don't know. But They are a reformed club. 1997, they were reformed, though, of course, we are, we're, we're live from the wagon horses in Hales Owen, where if you say the word Fleetwood, they'll say 1995 FA Cup final at Wembley. FA, FA Vars. FA Vars final, yeah, yeah, carried away there. Oh, I you Okay, mate. Okay. Now, back in 1997, Fleetwood had a vandalised ground and they had to start in step five. I mean, that sounds rather familiar. Uh, yeah, like Old Church. Yeah, well, particularly a bit about the vandalised ground. Yeah, that, yeah. So they never got around to repairing yeah, that, did right, they? Yeah. But, but seven years on, they were still in step five. Right, it's the North West Counties League. Yes, that's right. And then Andy Pilling come on board and then they started moving up very rapidly. Six promotions in ten years after that. Right. Okay, um... You see, money talks. Mm, that would I shout, hate to say it. It shouts, basically. I hate to say it, yeah, but at the end of the day, uh, when you're relying on one man's money... Yeah, and he, yeah. And he gets bored. Yeah. I know, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's said two years ago the club has to make its own way now, so they almost got relegated the other year, because <laughs> the budget got slashed. A um, little bit about the squad. Manager is Uwe Rossler. 49 years old this week. He's uh, an ex-Albin player, I'm sure you remember, Frank. 
Uh, yes, I do. Some people may remember Man City, where he played a few years rather than a month, but there you go. We've already mentioned Devante Cole, 22 years old, lives in Alderley Edge, the footballer's oh, yeah, home. Yeah, 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 top scorer, I think he's got nine. Yes? Yeah, I did watch the match, uh, their match against Chorley, mm. and I wasn't all that impressed. Mm. But this lad, who's the, the skipper on the night, was Nathan Pond. Nathan Pond, oh, uh, yes. Nathan. What an interesting character yeah. he is. Oh, gosh, he Now, he did come off, um, he ran out of puff, which is hardly surprising, yeah. really. I don't think he plays that often now, does he? Uh, from what I can tell, but he, he's played since 2003. 2003, well, virtually, virtually non-stop for Fleet. With only been a couple of short loan spells. That's 460 yeah. games. Yeah, and he's in the Guinness World Book of Records for the only player to have played in seven different divisions with one football club. Wow, that's seven divisions now. Yeah, I checked with our main man, Mr. Parrots. Yes. And he, he thinks, as I do, that Rob Purdy's been with Oval for six. Right. So, so if you do get promoted, again, yeah. and, and he's, he's, still he's with, with us, us yeah. he'd, be going, he'd be in the Guinness Book of Records as well. But, um, <laughs> apart from those names, really, they're the squad short on celebrity, but long on being solid professional footballers, really. All rather dull, not a single thought-provoking pastime among them, you well, know. No, no, no surfers, bank robbers, yeah. no, no modelling, <laughs> nothing like that, you know. And it, it's all a bit too easy, Frank, because there's loads of information about every player on their website, but of course but individual videos, oh, no challenge in that, is there? No, no. <laughs> Although, oh dear. Yeah. Well, indeed. they do get players sent off, don't they? So Yeah, you know, yeah, indeed, OK. They're not averse to the odd challenge. No. And that no. was a very odd challenge. Actually, it was it was a mugging, really, wasn't it? That challenge yeah. was, really was dreadful. OK, Shocking. the ground. The ground, then. yeah, yeah. It's it's. I have been there once before, so I've got... Highbury. Highbury, yeah. Huh. That's a bit ostentatious, isn't it's, it? We play at Highbury. Well, we do, it's because the street next door is Highbury Avenue. Right, because the other old Highbury is blocks of flats now, but it anyway. Is, it is, oh, yeah. Right. It's a smart, modern yeah. ground. It's just a sort of strange place to find a football league ground, you know, because it's surrounded by Coronation Street-type housing, you right. know, back-to-backs. If you're watching this, if you're listening to this podcast on YouTube, yes. then you will see that the picture I have used for the front of this book I'm with your staring at now as you look at it yep. and it does show a beautiful ground with a wonderful stand and all back to back houses crammed mm. around it this is a strange yeah. contrast and it is just up the road is a tram line as well which is very 1950s you know yes yeah. and we have been given 1095 tickets yes. and no more no, no more and no more Ooh. That is what the club. That was what on the club website this morning. We have an allocation of one thousand ninety-five and no more. I'm a little so bit surprised. By I that. am also a little bit surprised at that. But you know, I, because to be quite honest, I can't see how they get average gauge of three thousand two hundred. Yeah. What's, what's the capacity? Over five thousand. Uh, five thousand. But are we an attractive fixture for them? No, we're not. We're not. No. Yes, so we're they not. probably won't have anywhere no. near their average. So, but if it is and no more, then uh, I'm very it surprised. Is what it is. I'm very surprised because they they normally have provision to make extra seats available for for grounds that you know games they haven't sold out. But there we you go. We shall see. We shall. Yeah, yeah. I mean, our ticket allocation is split into like one third and two thirds. Right. Most of our sport is going to be behind the goal on the covered and pillar-free Percy Ronson Terrace. Yeah. Yeah, good old Percy. He's a, he's a famous former Fleetwood player right. with a proper northern name, you know. There's no alcohol served here. It's right. uh, basically tea and coffee and, you know, the usual burgers and stuff. Entrance right. is via Highbury Avenue, which is sort of what I'd say is the back of the ground, really. Now, if you want the pleasure of purchasing overpriced Guinness, Worthingtons and Magnus, or curiously, wine, you'll have to, you'll have to buy a seat, which is a higher price, but the view is going to be much better. Um, that main stand alone costs £4 million to build, which, you know, the chairman kindly funded. The park yes, side it stand. reminds me of Huddersfield's yes, ground. Yes, it's a scaled-down version, yeah. It's got the sort yeah. of stand up. It is, yeah. Big arch. Yeah. The big, uh, yeah, I mean, it's got lots of facilities in there. And the wind will whistle through the corners. Oh, I bet it will. I bet it yeah. will, yeah. 
you know, they, they've got a very smart concourse, they've got Sky Sports so, showing on TV screens in the concourse, you know, as you're supping your Worthington's or red wine or whatever. Um, if you want a bit of style, hot off the press, there's hospitality places available at £40 each. Right. Or if you've got a dozen people, you can have a box for 500 quid plus VAT. Do you take it home with you? Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm sure they won't miss the hot the gap. Yeah. You know, it's the usual sort of thing: two course meal, car parking, mess balcony seats, etc. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, disabilities, they are advi- Sorry, they're not disabilities anymore. They're the members of the Hereford FC Disabled Association, I believe. Oh, shame, I like disabilities. I like disabilities. I think we should continue to call them that for okay. speed. For speed, disabilities. Then disabilities. Okay. Now. We understand that they need to contact Steve Bean, Steve dot Bean. That's Bean with B E A N E at Fleetwoodtown dot com. Uh, Fleetwoodtown FC dot com. Sorry, you're absolutely I'll right. That. Okay, Steve, Steve dot Bean yeah. with an E at the end yeah. at Fleetwoodtown. Hang on, let one of us say this, we'll be all right. Okay, okay. Steve dot Bean. At FleetwoodTownFC.com yeah. is your contact if you want to book a disabled space. There are only seven for visitors at pitch level next to the Percy Ronson and only two parking spaces for disabled people outside on a first come, first served basis. So actually, first come, <laughs> if you're one of the two first come, that's yeah, it. That's it. That isn't very much. It isn't. It isn't. It's not a great deal at all, is it? They have virtually no car parking at all, which is why they're being so mean. No, yeah. These um, these these places, I'm afraid, they are open, completely flat and completely open. So it's not the best place to go. Um, there there is a lot of gen there is a lot of street parking for everybody. So right. you probably won't have to walk too far. Okay, um, Fleetwood. Other than local rivals, they don't get on with Fleetwood. Like Blackpool. G- like Blackpool. Yeah. Yeah, like, I can't think of anybody else, but like Blackpool, yeah. There's only more coming every lower, aren't there? Yeah, that's right, okay. Fleetwood generally admit travelling supporters into Jim's Bar. Now, this is an absolutely brilliant (laughs) supporters club. It sits behind the home terrace. It's huge, and it's really, really luxurious. They've even got uh, a big screen in the gents' toilet. I've been in there and goggled at it. Uh, What? Yeah, but what's it showing? Well, at the time, it was Sky Sports. Oh, but, right. Yeah, yeah. But I was a bit worried then. There might be CCTV footage <laughs> from, the, like from the ladies, probably. Like a certain yeah. school, yeah. yeah. It was on the news recently, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But, when you say, uh, apart from local rivals, and we say no, only about, I'm a bit disparaging there, really, because... Um, you know, other Lancashire clubs aren't that far away. No, really, Wigan is close enough to make a good crowd with them and so on. So yes, there will be others. Yeah. But I don't think Hereford counts no. as passionate local rivals, does so, it? So you know, uh, my only previous visit, I saw South End there in Division Four, and the, Apple, the locals are very, very friendly. So it's all good. It's all good. But if you can't get in there, you, you're walking. I'm afraid. Right. The nearby Highbury Bar, that sort of backs onto the ground, that doesn't let the way supporters well, in. It's, oh, I see, that's the club. I believe it's another club by, uh, that's home supporters only. Otherwise, you can either head towards the Queen's Hotel, which is uh, the Waits House. It's about 15 minutes walk. Or you can use that 15 minutes walk to go into the town centre and have a choice of uh, hostelries. Yep. There's three camera listed pubs. They're all massive, great buildings in old, dark red brick, sort of Manchester brick, as I would call it. Yeah. You've got the local Spoons, which is the Thomas Drummond, eight changing beers. Um, the Strawberry Garden sounds really interesting, actually, in Paulton Road. That's a, a brewery tap for the Fuzzy Duck Brewery. You've got to, you've got to like the Fuzzy Duck Brewery. I, I, I like the name, yeah. yeah. 12 real ales and six ciders. Now, uh, Sid Little and his wife do the catering. That's as in Little and Large. Really? Mm, that's a curiosity, isn't it? So, yeah. Another reason just for having sticking your nose in. There, there aren't many comedy gigs in Fleetwood, because there's not, no. lot, not a lot to laugh at in Fleetwood, really, is there? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, indeed, man. Um, if you really want to go to the seafront, there's an enormous hostelry called the Mount Hotel, which is Green Kings. Our Green Kings IPA. Mm. It's excellent if you can get hold of it. Mm. 
Yeah. Yes, uh, but if you go on the seafront, it's going to be that cold. You're probably going to want brandy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, so, yeah. Um, so really, that that's your choice, really. I mean, getting there, it's it's our longest away trip of the season. Not necessarily. Well, it isn't for you and I. But no, it's not necessarily. We think because should we win it? Ah, right. Should okay. we win it? Become again to play Newcastle. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Away. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. But in in games of thrones terminology. It's beyond the wall. Uh, well, it's a novelty to travel north. It is, well, hey, look, I'm complaining. Yeah. You know, but it, it is right. 180 miles for Hereford. Are Hereford. we going to bother with trains? Oh. As you've already said, they've closed the wrecking station. <laughs> well, it, it's, it's comically bad, you know. Normally, it's a mere three and a half hours with a couple of changes, but um, there's all sorts of rail work going on, so if you can get to Preston, then you've got to get a bus to North Blackpool Station and then you've still got a seven mile bus trip on top of that you really don't want to bother frankly avoid and less desperate yeah. travel on the Friday we're going up on the Friday mm. Keith and I and Joni are going up on the Friday and we're staying in Blackpool and we're going to do a live show from Blackpool on the Friday night if any of you are there watch out for the information about that we'll be plastering it out next week it should be quite a show. Live show in Blackpool. A live show. Goodness me. Anyway. Uh, elbows. What about Reg? Reg, yes. Reg is uh, doing very nicely, thank you. A £20 adults, under 16s, £15, under 5s are free. Radford's 8 o'clock start because there's a monster trip. And he's close to filling his third coach. So he's going I know, well. And nobody's got any tickets yet. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So, so, guys, all the details about ticketing are on the club site. It's... Yep. Um, Season ticket holders first, uh, followed by members of Hust, and thereafter they go on general sale. They don't actually go on general sale for a week, mm-hmm. uh, so that uh, not season many ticket left, holders though. and Hust members who yeah. have the opportunity of purchasing first. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you will have to show your current Hust membership card when you are purchasing your tickets in person you can apply by post giving the uh, Hust membership uh, number uh, and the club we Hust have furnished the club with a register of members and their numbers fantastic you know? okay. and all, including all those people who currently have not renewed their subscription oh. and don't forget yeah, some people no. tried when we did this before for the last for the Eastley, I think it was yes. house members. Some people said, well, "I've got my house membership card here. It was out of date and oh, not been renewed." Oh. For a tenner, it's always worth renewing it. It's going to save you a lot Join of trouble. Your trust. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thanks for listening, everybody, and uh, and we'll get back to you again soon with another away ground guard. I just want to go over one thing again. Oh dear. Oh yes. Um, Mr. Is, yeah, I, I was rather confused about who was speaking this. I'm going to say it again. Uh, and one of the things that we left out is uh, getting into the football ground is a bottleneck because everybody's got to cross the tram lines they at have, a single yes, point to get that. to the ground. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah. You get a tra- can you get a tram from Black? You can well, get you a tram can. from Blackpool. You can. Yeah, yeah I don't think Keith and I'll take all our gear on a tram. We'll drive down. Okay. Now, uh, Hereford Disabled Association need to contact the following email address, steve.bean, that's B-E-A-N-E, at fleetwoodtownfc.com to reserve places, and they are very limited. Okay, thanks everybody for listening, we'll catch up with you soon. Good night from Simon. Oh, Boston. And good night from me, see you soon. Radio Hereford FC on the road to Wembley.